well it's good to see you again chaps and ladies. Today I'm going to play with some ballistic gel. We've been asked by a company if we could test this electrically to absolute extremes until it destroys itself. So we're going to crack on, I'll show you how to make it and we may even get upstairs on the big boy supply and really give it some. So bear with us, oh this one might be a little bit noisy so watch it if you've got headphones on. This is the packaging and the instructions and that's the company who supplied it. Now to make this it is very easy. All we need to do is have one part powder, nine parts water, mix it up carefully, gently, put it in the fridge for two hours and allow it to bloom. Then we'll remove it from the fridge, heat it up carefully to precisely 39 degrees. Mm, yes, that seems about right. Then pour it out into containers, put it in the fridge and allow it to set for 48 hours. Then it's ready to use. Easy. Here's our gel in its mould and we're going to remove it from the mould and start off with low voltage and see what we get for conductivity. I'm now holding the two meter probes and my resistance is roughly half a mega ohm, 500 kilo ohms. The harder I squeeze it, the resistance will be less. So I'm going to put the probes now in the ballistic gel and we'll check the resistance of that. Now you can see that is 100 kilo ohms. On these two probes, there's a capacity of 300 amps available. And I'm holding the metal probes. But because it's extra low voltage, or ELV, I can't feel it. Oof, they're getting warm. So to check the breakdown voltage of this ballistic gel, which should be pretty similar to the resistance of human beings' flesh, we're going to use this power supply, which can give us up to 500 volts. 100 amps, but we don't quite need 100 amps, but we've got the voltage what we need. So let's crank this thing up and see at what point the ballistic gel begins to break down. Here we are all switched on ready to go. This is uh, me just testing the unit. I've cranked it up to its max 500 volts which is still low voltage but obviously we've got a tremendous amount of current there available which I don't intend using it all in this experiment but here's a quick look at the back of these transformers. Humming away nicely, 50 hertz. Sounds nice. Right, let's do some, shall we? I've got a small LED lamp rated at 12 volts. We've got 12 volts up there on the screen in red, as you can see. And the lamp comes on at full brightness when we do that. When we put it through this gel, there is a resistance, so it's a lot dimmer which would indicate there is less current. Now we've got a 35 watt incandescent lamp there. When I short that out, lamp comes on, put that in there. Not enough current flow to light that lamp up. So now what we need to do is increase that voltage so it overcomes that resistance, then we get current flow. And then we can see what sort of damage we get to that ballistic gel because that has the resistance and there's going to be some sort of heating or melting going on. So I'm going to turn it up bit by bit. I think it might be melting a bit. That's interesting. Off we go up there then. 166 volts, melting a little bit there, look. And not much 
Carlo. Same test now, we've got a 40 watt light bulb actually in series with that. Now we can take the voltage up a bit more. See if we get anything interesting on this. As we increase this voltage, obviously it can overcome that resistance. We now have current flowing through that ballistic gel, but no adverse effects. You can't actually see it, but there's going to be some heat in there. Let's uh, be stupid with it, of course. Probably wouldn't want to touch that. I think the light bulb might complain in a minute. Pop the light bulb. Yes, we did. <laughs> Now we've got 240 volts available and as we make contact it starts to get a little bit of melting going on. What a mess. Now we've done away with a light bulb. Tiny little discharge. Let's take the voltage up a bit more. Because we don't do 240 on this channel, do we, boys? What do you want? 415? 440? 500? What do you reckon? We'll have 100,000 in a minute. Wait for it. Bit more. Okay, now we've got 440, and at these voltages, our flesh and our skin cannot hold that sort of voltage back. That's when we start to get dangerous levels of current, which is dangerous to us. That there is enough to kill you. God, that stinks. Hmm, that's going to be messy. So that little demonstration is the low voltage side covered. I think we need to go to medium voltage next and then proceed to a very high voltage later on. This is our medium voltage we're going to use. We've got approximately 2000 volts here, so this should have no trouble whatsoever passing through this gel. going to do a medium voltage test with high impulse current and I must warn you this is going to be very noisy so if you have headphones on please do reduce the volume. That box capacitor in the background there has at least the equivalent of 200 of these in it. This is a microwave capacitor. Um, the capacitance on that one is about 200 microfarad.
going to discharge this capacitor. Cool fuck camp. <laughs> That was interesting. I think now we will definitely proceed to the top room and energise the big boy supply and maybe put 100,000 volts or so through this and see what mess it makes. Look at it, splattered all up there. That was good, that was loud though, wasn't it? Oh, the memories of this room, gents. It's all still here, hasn't changed. I think we ought to uh, turn that power supply on and get on with it and do what we're good at. Let's start cranking things up stupid, shall we? Rude not to. We're now going to proceed with our final segment, which is the very high voltage side. We're going to start at 30,000 volts, and down there we've got our spark gap set for about an inch, which is about 30 kV. All the power that goes through that slab of ballistic gel has to jump that spark gap. So we'll see if there's any adverse effects with that. It's going to be noisy, this. 30 kV. That was probably a standard output of a police issue stun gun. But we don't do police issue stun guns on this channel, do we, boys? <laughs> now got over 100 kV. Stand by. Quite interesting. Got a bit going on there. Banging over the top of the transformer as well. Stand by. So we uh Give it a little tiny bit more, what do you think? I think so. We do have slight damage. Definitely would not want to touch that lot, boys. <laughs> well, thank you very much for watching the videos. <laughs> thank you very much once again for watching the videos. I hope you enjoyed it in this familiar surroundings. I will see you very shortly on the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye bye.